Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at receiving and decoding weather facts which is being transmitted from weather satellites orbiting the Earth. Now there are a few weather satellites orbiting the Earth but in this demonstration I'll be receiving directly from NOAA 19 which was passing by my location while I was recording this video. Now a little history about this particular satellite, it was launched on February the 6th 2009 aboard a Delta II from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California USA. Now you would think that a weather satellite which transmits images back to Earth would have a conventional camera, well you'd be wrong. The instruments used to make up a receiving image are called radiometers. Now these radiometers have one or more detectors that detect visible, infrared or microwave radiation and these have a sole purpose of monitoring weather systems around the world. Technically these radiometer detectors measure in the form of electrical voltages which are then digitized and then transmitted back to earth. So in order to decode these digitized transmissions we need a way of receiving them and then a way of to decode them. As these transmissions are generally around 137 megahertz, we can go ahead and use an RTL SDR to do the receiving. Now in this video, I'm using an SDR plate SDR duo with the SDR Uno software, but there's no reason why you cannot go ahead and use your preferred SDR software and receiver of choice, as long as you can tune to around 137 megahertz and pipe the audio out into another application. So my version of SDR Uno is configured to pipe its audio out to audio VB cable, so that the decoding software can hear it. The bandwidth I'm selecting on this SDR software is around 30 to 40 kilohertz with the mode set to wide FM. Now you'll notice in this video that when I'm decoding the satellite I'm making very small adjustments to the receiving frequency. Now this is due to what is known as the Doppler effect. Now if you want to know more about the Doppler effect and what it is I'll leave a link down in the description below. Okay, so let's go ahead and have a look at the decoding software which we're going to be using in this video. So the software that we're going to be using is called WX to IMG. Now this is a freeware edition which you can download from the internet. I'll leave a link down in the description of where you can get this from. Now once you've got it installed, the first thing that you're going to want to do is set up what we call the ground location. So if you go over to where it says options and then go down to ground station location and here you want to put your city, your country, you can look up the latitude and longitude if it doesn't work you can manually put them in and also put your altitude now the reason for this is because when it comes to waiting for a passing satellite there is an excellent feature in here called satellite pass list now what this pass list does it actually works out your location with the location of the satellites and then it will give you a predicted time and duration and frequency and even the satellite name when it's going to pass over as you can see here my next pass is going to be at quarter past six in the evening and it's going to be on 1376200 now after you put your ground station information in you want to go to file and go to update kepler's click update kepler's it will go off and download an updated kepler list you can then go to file satellite pass list and this will show you a pretty accurate list of satellite passes in the coming future. To make sure it is actually showing you the correct satellite passes just have a look at the top here where it says satellite passes 4 and it should say your town, your country and your latitude and longitude. Ok so we're now ready to go ahead and start receiving. So what you now need to do is go ahead and put your software into auto record mode and to do that you can go file and then record and then select auto record making sure that you've got record and auto process selected here create image create movies if you want a movie and then click auto record down on the bottom left hand corner it will say status waiting for and then the satellite that you're going to be receiving it will also show you the frequency as well which you're going to need to set your SDR software to now when it comes to the audio input you just need to make sure that your default audio input is the VB audio cable which is your virtual audio cable which is actually what you output from your SDR software. If you need to know more information about this you can see some of my previous videos on how to use VB audio virtual cable. So we're now ready to go ahead and start decoding 
So as you can see here, this is the beginning of the transmission. The, each transmission is around 10 minutes long. That's how long WX to IMG records for. Uh, I will play a little bit of audio now so you can hear what it sounds like so that when you're trying to distinguish a satellite signal, you can find it easily. Now what you'll notice as the transmission goes on, the signal strength becomes extremely strong and then towards the end it starts tailing off because the satellite is getting lower down on the horizon. Now I'm going to fast forward this video because it is 10 minutes long and you'll be able to see the image appear in front of your very eyes on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then we'll have a look at the picture once it's finished decoding. Okay, it's now finished receiving and decoding the images. Now what it does at the end of the transmission is it will process that information that's received and it will save about three or four different images to a WX to IMG folder within your pictures directory. Now I've picked the best one here to show you. Uh, we can see that it's outlined the country. So you've got the United Kingdom there at the top and you've got Spain, the top of Africa and kind of Western Europe there. You can see lots of clouds on the left hand side and it looks quite, quite a nice picture and as you can see from that picture it's extremely sunny in the UK today which is very very rare anyway guys if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and like and if you've got any questions on this or if you do this yourself don't forget post the link down in the comments below and let us see what you can receive from your location take care everybody and I'll see you in the next one